Hey, salut à tous, c'est Sharkan, comment ça va Bienvenue dans ce nouvel épisode sur Red Dead Redemption 2. J'espère en tout cas que l'épisode 2 vous a plu. Si vous ne l'avez pas encore vu, je vous invite à aller le voir, il est sorti hier soir. Maintenant, on va continuer l'histoire. Donc, on était arrivé au camp, on avait braqué le train, si vous vous en rappelez bien. On va visiter un peu le camp maintenant, comment ça se présente. Alors, là on est comme une, une espèce de couchette. Donc là, on a Dutch qui est ici. On peut le saluer. Je préfère la pipe, ok. Ok. Euh, du coup, alors on va continuer le petit tour. On peut profiter, franchement, les paysages au loin. C'est vraiment, vraiment toujours aussi beau. Il est fou, lui. Ok. Dites-moi hein, toujours ce que vous en pensez du jeu en lui-même dans les commentaires. Comme au... Comme à l'épisode 2, je ne vais toujours pas parler dans cet épisode. Je parle juste au début pour... Euh... Qu'est-ce qu'il demande, lui Alors, amélioration d'artisanat. Donner. Qu'est-ce que j'ai à donner Graisse d'animal. Peine. Venaison. Chair de poisson maigre. Écoute, je vais te donner ça. Donner pour la cagnotte. De. Hop, tiens. Prends tout ça. Donc, j'ai 25 centimes sur moi. Non, j'ai 190 dollars sur moi. Ok. Donc là, en gros, c'est là où je vais pouvoir retenir... Ce que je vais chasser et tout, je pense. On va continuer. On a nos chevaux qui sont là. Il va falloir que je lui trouve un nom à ce cheval, hein, quand même. Un nom assez sympa. Qu'est-ce que je pouvais faire ici Examiner. Qu'est-ce qu'on a à examiner ici Ok. Retourner. Ok. Bon. Je pense qu'on va pas faire trop long non plus dans le camp. Hein. Juste pour vous faire un petit tour. Vous montrer à peu près comment c'est. On va continuer l'histoire du coup. Ok. Donc ici on a... On peut prendre... Ah, on peut prendre un sac. Porter le sac jusqu'au chariot de Pearson. Ok, donc on a des petites missions comme ça à faire. Ok, c'est cool. Ça change au moins, ça nous fait des petits trucs à faire. Donc il y a deux sacs. Allez, emmenez là-bas. C'était pas prévu que je le fasse. Bon. Vu que je me suis lancé dedans, on va le faire. Non, c'est pas ici. Posez, hop. Tac. Allez, c'est reparti mon gaillard, on y retourne. Dites-moi aussi, au euh, niveau de la durée, qu'est-ce que vous en avez pas pensé du premier épisode Si c'est trop long, si c'est pas assez long. Je pense pas que je ferai plus court. Hein. Franchement, l'histoire est tellement longue. Si je faisais plus court, ça ferait énormément, énormément, énormément de vidéos. Après, les vidéos, vous pouvez les regarder en plusieurs fois. Vous n'êtes pas non plus obligé de les regarder directement du premier coup. Donc, où c'est qu'il faut que je le pose, son sac Ici, je pense, ouais. Ok. Alors, on va continuer. On va aller voir un rond bleu. Enfin, un rond jaune. Rond bleu, ça va mieux, moi. Donc, on a RS, JE, et on a un U. Je pense que l'U, il est plus près que... On va aller directement déjà voir ça. Ah, là, je pouvais courir. Ok. L'oncle. On va réveiller l'oncle. Sympa le réveil. 
was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morton. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. They cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a rob, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on, then. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out to the trees here, then take a left. Bon, bah, allez, c'est parti. On va emmener ces jeunes dames à destination. Je ne sais pas ce que vous en pensez. Dans le dernier épisode, j'avais mis en vue cinéma. Là, je ne peux pas encore l'enclencher. Ça rendait vachement, vachement, vachement bien. Je pense que je vais refaire ça souvent dans l'épisode. Dans tous les épisodes, en tout cas. Parce que ça fait vraiment une vue hyper sympa. Et ça ne fait pas comme une vue gameplay toute simple, basique de derrière. On va continuer comme ça. Et on verra bien ce que vous en pensez. C'est vraiment lent. Hein. Par contre, franchement, c'est vraiment lent pour avancer et tout. C'est ça qui est... Après, voilà, c'est à l'époque. Donc, on ne peut pas non plus avoir des Formule 1. Pas non plus comme dans GTA, des T20 ou trucs comme ça. Voilà, c'est la radio de l'époque. Voilà, je peux me mettre en vue cinéma, c'est vachement, vachement plus agréable à regarder. Je sais pas ce que vous en pensez, franchement, moi je trouve ça vraiment plus agréable à suivre en fait. Bon allez, fini les blabla, je vous laisse avec cet épisode. Merci en tout cas vraiment de regarder. Bonne vidéo à vous et à tout à l'heure. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. that poor man. Oh, Lombago. It's really serious. It can be deadly. What about you, Arthur? Do I look like I got the energy to waste on charity? That fool can get his own horse. I don't believe you're quite that cold, Mr. Morgan. Oh, I'm colder than you realize. I feel bad I didn't rob and kill the bastard. Bon, je reviens vers vous euh, juste là. Je savais pas trop quoi faire, puis au final, je me suis décidé d'aller aider ce monsieur. Oh, hey, you 
couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Allez, on va aller calmer. Le cheval qui est parti. Ok, donc s'il saute, ça va être joyeux. Ça va être super. Ah, on va passer avant que le train nous écrase. Voilà, calme-toi tout doux. Non, il ne veut pas. Ok. Voilà, tout va bien, tout va bien, t'inquiète pas. Allez, viens. C'est reparti, on va là-bas. that uncle <laughs> oh very funny this looks like a decent little town other people finally look at all that snow on the mountains sure don't want to be back up there you think we should have asked molly to come with us oh no miss o'shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us or to do any real work she's a society lady now okay take a good look around ladies See what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. I'm on. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. All right, here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. I imagine Paris and Valentine. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. 
No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All the best, fellers. sir <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain absolutely it's a funny world you know this time in my career i pictured myself being married to an heiress gentlemen i think i got something good what what I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl, usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off! I've been looking too long. I got you now. Huh? Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Come on, please! Can I help you, sir? Be generous. Show you care. Come on, please, somebody. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. 
Mid-twenties, blonde, you'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Uh. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched oh. me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, now. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Get away from me. Just borrowing it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Oh no. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. Please. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. Here is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. 
I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this here old mind. <sighs> Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Am I glad to see you? Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Come on, Charles. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here. Come over here, I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our answer. <laughs>
Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well. I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah! Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Yeah, welcome. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? <sighs> yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Well, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? Now, let's have a look. Listen to the folk around here. I do not and will not ever do arms business with no gang. 
All the trouble in Valentine of late, and people are starting to talk about the curse again. Well, I'm sure you'll be back. I just want to get a drink. Jebediah's been falling in love with the soil bugs. Read about the hunt for the Leviticus Nothing Cornwall train robbers. Nothing new under the sun, mister. <laughs> Give a fellow a nickel. Gold to rip. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. OK, then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity. Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but. You want me to go and find some. Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. OK. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. Thank you. How you doing? Oh, come okay, on. Okay, I got it. Go on and move! Good God, please no! This can't be! Hope you're ready to die! God damn it!
down. I think it's handle this. Get ready, boys. I got him. You there? Who? Hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. I'm not running from them, neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against Sam, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here, quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it.
Thunder does. Uh, I was expecting a bottle of that. I brought a Gatling uh, gun. Them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, the man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. Hmm. Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. Hell, <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and uh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Okay, I got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> Well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Voilà les amis, on va s'arrêter là pour l'épisode 3. J'ai trouvé Madame Belle, donc on, ça s'est relativement bien passé. J'ai eu un peu de mal à tuer tous les gens, tous les chasseurs de primes en tout cas qui voulaient venir nous emmerder. Là, je retourne tranquillement au campement. J'espère que cet épisode vous a plu, on a vu beaucoup de choses. J'ai pas eu grand chose à faire, donc du coup là je retourne au campement parce que je sais pas ce que je dois faire exactement. Donc n'hésitez pas encore à me dire ce que vous en avez pensé dans les commentaires. Je vous remercie d'avoir regardé. J'espère que le jeu vous plaît toujours autant. Moi, je vous retrouve demain pour une nouvelle vidéo, pour un nouvel épisode. Sur ce, portez-vous bien. C'était Sherkan. Ciao tout le monde.